All right, so here we go. I changed my rear brakes uh, yesterday. I did the rotors and the pads. Also changed out the uh, half shafts. These are uh, got 800 miles on them. Uh, bought them off of uh, you know eBay. Uh, the passenger rear side was already destroyed. Um, if you take a look at it, um, you can see some grease coming out right here. Um, what happens is it's separated from the inside of here. Um, it's no longer attached, so um, it's broken right, right in this area right here. Um, I was getting some of my noise from that. It was by, uh, binding up a little bit. Um, so I went ahead and put the old half shaft back in, the one that was in it when I uh, bought it initially. Um, and things seems to be much better. Um, I also did the rotors and pads. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of rust on them. Um, the pads, if you look at the pads, they have a lot of wear, um, like sort of like a choppiness, chopping effect. Something was chopping at it. Um, not sure if it was uh, partially the half shaft or um, just, you know, old pads. So you can see all this uh, super, super rusty um, and uh, lots of chopping to it. So um, what I did is I changed the uh, rotors yesterday. Climb under here. Um, use a flashlight. Um, I did the rotor. Um, I also did the um, locking mechanism um, from Blue Hummer. I did the, the um, safety uh, mechanism on the bolts. Um, basically, these uh, six bolts come out. There's two here, two here, and two up on the top side. Um, and then on the end of the half shaft on the outside, there's a little um, cap that comes off. You can use your 3H drive extension uh, with a ratchet and just pull that cover out. And then it's a 14 millimeter um, socket uh, that takes that uh, bolt out. It's just one bolt on the very end of the half shaft. Um, that comes out so um, and then this will drop down this right here will drop down um, you need to get the um, emergency brake cable out of the way the way to do that is you can pull off the car pin uh, this little bolt comes out and then it just kind of slides down and then there's a safety pin here um, then, then this just pulls out and you can pull it out of the way. So it's the same on both sides. Um, okay, so the, the most, the, the area that I was getting most of my um, noise from was from this bracket right here. Okay, so it was this, this bracket goes up and over to the top. There's one bolt here that holds it in and there's one on the top. Um, there is a pin. Oops. There is a pin that goes through here. It's an Allen key head with a screw um, bolt that goes into the, and it holds it there. So it's this, this, and then another one of these at the top, and then another bolt that's like this at the top. What happened with mine is the, one, the pin at the top had backed its way out, um, and it was chattering back and forth, bing, 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 bing. When I hit the brakes, it was chattering. That's the main noise that I was getting. Um, it was on the passenger side. Um, this is the driver's side. It was on the passenger side. It was on this side. So, where is it? It's right here. Okay. It was this pin, but on the top. It was backed out. It wasn't in this bracket at all. Um, so that's what was making most of my noise. And then um, from it chattering back and forth, it was eating up my pads and then obviously my rotors. Um, this is the um, old half shaft. This is the area right here where it was uh, broken. I'll show you um, how it's, you know, it should be, it should be nice and firm. It shouldn't, it shouldn't move uh, when you pull on it left and right. Um, I also changed out my uh, gear hub seals on the top, the input seals. Um, there's a video in my YouTube channel that you can see that um, on how to do that. And then uh, 
up also on the driver's side, which is this side, I changed out the bearing, the inner bearing and the outer bearing that were right here. Um, those two bearings were bad. Um, I was able to move this half shaft back and forth. It had a pretty good, decent wiggle in it. Um, those two bearings um, needed to be removed. So I took off this little cover. It's only four bolts, one, two, three, four. Um, the cover comes off and then the bearings just pop right out. You can use a, like a brass uh, punch and you can just tap on them. They just pop right out, put the new ones in and put the cover back on. Um, I use a, you know, uh, the right stuff gasket sealer to put around that input seal cover and it seems to be holding up pretty well. I didn't, I didn't go and buy any specific uh, uh, gasket from on eBay or whatever. I just used the right stuff gasket sealer to put that back in. So, um, it is a little bit of a pain to align the rotor, all the bolt, where the bolts go, um, and the pads and the uh, caliper all together. But, you know, if you take your time and you do it, it's usually pretty quick. Um, as far as the differential, I thought my differential was making noises. It wasn't. Um, I basically drained all the fluid out from this plug um, right here. This plug drains all out. Takes about a, a liter and a half um, of 80-90 weight. I use uh, Lucas Oil 80-90 weight. Um, it's more than efficient. Um, this is the fill plug right here. Um, I basically went up in through this way and filled it directly into the plug and then once it started to overflow I just put a bucket underneath of it till it got till it stopped dripping then I cleaned it all off and put the plug back in um, didn't drip too much um, so new rotor old half shafts new bolts with safety um, I guess you would call it arms I don't know what you would call but uh, I got that from Blue Hummer um, I got the rotors from Napa um, I'll show you guys the, uh, the box and the part number for that. Um, I got the pads from uh, Blue Hummer Outfitters. Those um, are GM, uh, AM General um, pads. They were different from the ones that I pulled out. So I'm not sure if somebody tried to do a brake job and, um, and didn't put the right ones in or just bought aftermarket ones from Napa. But I went ahead and bought the ones uh, for AM General. Um, they seem to be making no noise whatsoever. It's nice and smooth, and I have none of that choppy uh, tapping, grinding sound when I apply the brakes. What was happening was I was hitting, I was driving fine, normal speeds, 45, 50, 60 miles an hour. I would apply the brakes gently, and the noise would get louder and louder and louder the more pressure I put on it, and then get softer and softer and softer when I let off the brake. Um, and then when I accelerated again, the noise was uh, just slight and then the noise would disappear and it would be um, it would, wouldn't happen again until I hit the brakes. So that were, that's where I was at. I was pretty frustrated um, on what that noise was coming from. I'll show you the half shaft. So if you want to see the brake pads, it's got all this just scarring on it. I think that was from that, that bracket. Um, was slamming up and down or side to side and it was making that bing 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 noise and grinding on the pads um, Let me grab my mount and I'll show you what the uh, the half shaft what was wrong with the half shaft All right, so this is the um, the good half shaft that was uh, on the uh, Driver side so this half shaft if you look at it it can plunge in and out and it turns Everything turns when I turn it, okay? Everything turns, I can plunge it in and out, like this, okay? In, out, in, out, and it still turns, okay? The bad one. The bad one that was making noises, okay, I plunge it, look, in and out, and it doesn't turn. So it was making, it's got 800 miles on it, and this is a bad hash app. This is the noise. that you get. Okay, and that's because you're hitting the brakes and you're hitting the brakes 
and you get all kinds of noise um, from that half shaft and the brakes you know we're getting all chewed up so we're gonna do the brakes on the front end today um, and we'll show you how to disconnect everything and uh, we'll go from there all right any questions leave them in the comments